game on fight with another video I say y'all fight with another video make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe yes I said subscribe turn on your post notifications it's free do it for me what up gang I'm back with another video let's get straight into it but before I get into it make sure y'all hit that like button when you hit that like button to help my video on trying to grow, I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm on a road to 90K and I need y'all help. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. Honeycomb Brazy has been arrested after being stopped with guns in his car. His two charges is pistol, certain persons, forbidden, probation violation, felony possession, and the controlled substance. Now, when I seen pistol, certain persons, forbidden, I'm like, what is that? That's the first time that I have seen a felon being in the possession of a firearm worded that way. So I had to look it up. And it says, if he or she owns a pistol or has one in their possession or under his or her control and is a minor, a drug addict, or a habitual drunkard. It says, no person who has been convicted in this state, which is Alabama, or elsewhere of committing or attempting to commit a crime of violence shall own a pistol or have one in their possession we all know that honeycomb brazy was just released months ago and given probation because a new law passed in alabama everybody that was in his situation was eligible for probation now we also know that honeycomb brazy have drug charges on his record now what most people do when they get caught with drugs they say they are users they say they have a drug addiction. So them people go to drug programs and drug rehabs. So it says, if he or she is a minor, which we know Honeycomb Brazy is not, a drug addict, he can be labeled a drug addict if the drugs he was caught with on his record. He said he was a user and he went to drug rehab and did drug programs. He can be labeled as a drug addict or a habitual drunkard. It was a gun found in his car. It could have been in the armrest. It could have been in the glove department. It could have been in the trunk. It could have been on the floor and nobody claimed the gun. Now, my thing is a lot of people gonna say, why Honeycomb Brazy don't have security? Well, let's think about it like this. When Honeycomb Brazy first got out, his main issue was Finesse two times didn't look out for him. Finesse two times didn't drop a bag on him. Then he went at Jay Prince and said, you ain't do this for me. You said you was going to buy me a watch. You said you was going to buy me a car. You said you was going to buy me a ring. A lot of material things. A lot of material things. And when it boiled down to it, it was about money. He went on a rant for a couple of weeks about money. So right there, that let me know that money was an issue. He was having money problems. Then all of a sudden, when Birdman hit him up on live, and then Birdman went and seen him, he was happy. He was excited. He was popping it. He had new jewelry. So me thinking, Birdman probably dropped a little bag on him. And then he went and hollered at Jay Prince. And he came back and gave an apology to Jay Prince so nine times out of ten Jay Prince dropped the bag on him but let's be for real we know they didn't give him no M's we know they didn't give him no half a meal let's be honest let's be honest so Honeycomb Brazy wasn't in a situation to have paid security so he had homeboy security. Well, that is a homeboy that's his security. And nine times out of 10, how it's looking, these homies that was his security was convicted felons because they didn't take the charge for the gun or they didn't say the gun was mine. Because if they wasn't convicted felons and they say the gun was theirs, then they wouldn't have went to jail. Then he wouldn't have went to jail and the gun wouldn't have been wherever it was for him to catch them charges. Let's be for real. Remember 6ix9ine came out, 6ix9ine say he was paying them a quarter million dollars a week just for his security. And he had what, like four of them? 
So let's just chop that in half. We know that Honeycomb Brazy can't afford that right now. He wasn't in a position to have paid armed security with him all the time. It's an unfortunate situation, but it is what it is. You know, the law don't look at it and be like, oh yeah, well, we ain't going to arrest you or we ain't going to charge you with this because we know that you can't afford. Nah, they don't care about that. Even with people in the streets that be at war, that be done shot and got caught with a gun, man, they ain't going to say, oh, we're going to let you go because we know they're trying to kill you. They don't care about that. They don't care about that. Man, Honeycomb Brazy is like the family member that just can't get it right, man. The whole internet, everybody was rooting for Honeycomb Brazy when he got out, man, because he got a good heart. Honeycomb Brazy is that family member that got a good heart, but just can't stay out of trouble, man. Every chance he get, he mess it up. Every chance. Honeycomb Brazy has been in jail majority of his life. 85% of his life, Honeycomb Brazy has been in jail. That's why he pop it how he pop it and say he ready to go back. Or he don't care about going back because he basically lived his whole life in jail. He have adapted to it. It's not a fear. And this is an unfortunate situation. But let's get to your boy Finesse two times. Finesse two times is going viral right now. Because Finesse two times posted a picture after Honeycomb Brazy was locked up. And he posted a picture and some money outlined to his body like he's dead. And says, I don't need a gun to kill my enemies. He basically saying, my enemies do it to themselves. They get themselves out the way. Now, a lot of people is upset with him. Because it's like he's celebrating Honeycomb Brazy going to jail and we know as street people a lot of street people say i rather a person dead than in jail i rather my ops dead than in jail somebody say you celebrating homie downfall huh somebody else say when the real street wigger celebrate somebody going to jail somebody said celebrating another black man going to jail is some police at it no cap Somebody else say, you happy another man in jail because you low-key scared of him? Somebody else say, you probably sent the people out. Now, let me tell y'all something, man. Finesse two times and Honeycomb Brazy got to move right because they was beefing online. The police was watching them. Anytime you beef on live or the internet, now you're under surveillance. The police already got you under surveillance for real, for real. But you under surveillance for real now. Because the police don't know what is beef turn into real, real hamburger meat. So they're going to watch. They keep tabs. So they're going to pull you over more. They're going to be everywhere you at more. Because they're keeping tabs on you. To make sure this beef don't escalate. And if it do, they're going to be right there. So I feel like, man, finesse two times you tweaking for somebody that's supposed to be street, somebody that supposed to be used to the jail system. You don't celebrate when another man go to jail, man. That's crazy. And you had same situation. You had same situation. We could wake up next week and finesse two times be done got arrested. Like, what is you doing, gang? But y'all get in the comment section, man. And tell me what you think about this situation. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is your girl, Lena Love. Y'all know she got the game on lock when it comes to soap and skincare, man. Yeah, she got the best soap in the world, Craig. Yeah, she got lavender, vanilla, turmeric soap. Hey, anything you could think of. She got soap that moisturizes the skin, repel the skin, Make the skin glow. And she just shook back with conditional bars for men. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. And I'm pretty sure women can use it too. Hey, fellas, you want them waves on swim? You want to get the lady seasick? Well, go ahead and cop conditional bars by Lena Love. Her link will be down in the comment section.
Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is your boy LaGene Swagnificent. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Comment and let him know I sent you. He just dropped his new single. And when I tell you, he got a bangle with this one. He got a bangle with this one, man. The link will be down in the comment section. Make sure y'all go check it out. Uh, so damn lost, don't know what to tell you. But this shit for my parents, I will never fail you. Niggas telling me no, but they know I'm yes. Thinking I'm in a hole, but don't know I'm blessed. You wanna know the truth, my nigga, I'm blessed. You wanna know the truth, my nigga, I'm blessed. Superman, but they ain't the S on my chest. The Superman, but they ain't the S on my chest. Came from the outside as a messenger to the end of realm. Most don't wanna hear the truth, I know that very well. But it ain't up to me, it's up to God if you prevail. Or live a life as a scumbag. In a sewer well. And I just want y'all to know, man, I'm helping people get monetized. If y'all don't know, man, I be behind the scenes. I be behind the scenes helping these new YouTubers get monetized, helping their channel grow. A lot of people you see I do promo for, I'm behind the scenes helping their channel grow. If you a small YouTuber and you trying to get monetized, you need a thousand subscribers, you need 4,000 watch hours, hit me up on Instagram at music101ceo. And we're gonna get the business club, man. I'm gonna put something right here, man. You can see this young lady right here, she put the work in. She listened to what I said and she put the work in and she got results quick as a motherfucker. You hear me? Listen, I thought it was a glitch. I ain't gonna lie. She is the fastest growing YouTuber that I ever gave advice or help in my life, for real. Because a lot of y'all be procrastinating. It's a lot of YouTubers that I took under my wing and they not consistent. This young lady right here, she was consistent. I told her I did. I gave her some tips and less than a week, less than a week, her numbers tripled. Her numbers tripled. A month later, she monetized. Man, listen, if you're trying to win, Hit me up on Instagram, Music101, CEO. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is Mr. Go Viral. Y'all, man, Mr. Go Viral. Y'all make sure y'all follow him on Instagram, subscribe to his YouTube channel, and hit that like button, comment, and let him know I sent you. Mr. Go Viral, he posts viral shocking clips, man. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you tap in. His link will be down in the comment section. Listen to me, y'all. Go hit subscribe, gang. gang. <laughs> Mr. Go Viral, keep doing your thing. Every day you wake up, you need to promote your company. Every day you wake up, you need to promote your brand. A lot of people don't like to pay for promotion. Well, guess what? You need to turn into a promoting guru. Marketing is the number one key to success. A lot of people is not making it in life when it comes to company businesses or music or talent, whatever it is, a product you're selling, whatever it is, because not enough people have seen or know you exist. You can have the best product in the world. You could be the best rapper in the world. You can have the best company in the world. But if we don't know you exist, how can we engage? You need to put it in their face every day. You post it every day. I don't care if you get one like, post it again, post it again, post it again. They either go and follow you or they go engage. If I see something come across my phone five, six times, I'm going to eventually tap on it to see what it's about. Marketing, promoting is the key to success. Y'all better get to it. Music 101. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. Music101ceo. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I will promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great.
Music. Thank you, Music 101 CEO. Thank you, baby.